What's up guys, Denning here, support for Excel, and today I'm gonna show you how to play and how to not play Lulu. So when I will choose Lulu, I will choose Lulu probably in, uh, in the games when I see that uh, my AD carries are playing uh, hyperscaling champs like Kog'Maw, like uh, Vayne, mm, like Jinx, or something like this. I think, uh, or, or Twitch is pretty good with Lulu as well. So, the runes. I think these runes which I have here, the Guardian, Font of Life, Bone Plating and Revitalize, Cosmic Insight and Magical Footwear, I think these runes are the most common right now on Lulu and I think these are the best runes. It's really important to watch enemy team, like uh, which which champions they have if they have a lot of ad damage then it's good for sure to go for double armor if they have like kind of split damage then just go for one magic resist you can go i really like sometimes to go offense offense attack speed here if i have spell thief and if uh, i'm able to attack enemies uh, usually when enemy have some melee support which don't have that much engage let's say like uh, like brown the second runes Sometimes, which you can go, are Eri, Mana Flow Band, uh, Transdance, and uh, Scorch. This is these runes you go when uh, when you guys um, are playing um, pretty aggressive lane. Let's say you know that you win every two v two trade, and you can you can play actually in their face, and you can be really really aggressive. Your AD is stronger, you are stronger support, and you actually believe in your abilities, then you are able to dodge their stuns, their spells then you can look to go for the aggressive runes, but I think it's way easier to play with the, with the resolve runes, with the guardian. It pretty much supports the potential of the, the, the runes with Airy are way more aggressive and you need to be really aggressive in lane and you need to play the Lulu kind of to the limits to have uh, bigger benefits from these runes. About the items, I obviously went for Relic Shield because, as I said, if enemies are good and they are on the same page, that uh, it's pretty hard with Lulu to against all in lanes to stack the the spell thief. So here I went for Relic Shield, so they cannot stack like huge wave against us, and I as well I can abet drag the wave by sharing the minions with my AD carry. I'm going for um, Shurelia for sure. It's uh, one of the best items which I can buy here. Second item, I both uh, stuff of flowing water, increase shielding, gives movement speed to my allies as well. So my next item would be probably redemption. Have some healing, heal, heal power and shield power. Or I can go for Mikael's. That's, that's if I see that Kiana is landing like really good ults. If Mordekaiser is pretty smart and he's looking to flash ult me every fight, then I can go for Quicksilver. So I'm able to peel and uh, just cancel more the ult. Okay, so we are going to the game. First thing, I'm playing with Kog'Maw here. First, you need to look around uh, on the bot lanes. Like there is Kog'Maw versus Kai'Sa, and um, then the enemy team have Rel, Kiana, and uh, Diana. So pretty much engage comp. So definitely, I need to pick Exhaust, or my AD needs to pick Exhaust, and I pick Heal. Like uh, it's uh, about the communication. Actually, I prefer to have Exhaust early game. He played heal, that's that's fine. Exhaust because, uh, as I said, they have uh, so many assassins and uh, it's really important to to just reduce the damage. Okay, so I'm going to the lane and uh, I'm getting uh, kind of ganked here. For I see five players, I need to use my flash. And this is pretty bad when I'm as Lulu starting without flash. What I actually wanted to do here is to be here at least first or at the same time to just ward this spot to see if Rel is uh, taking the, the the bash control here and she can she can cheese us and they can look for all in with the Kaisa. If Rel is unmounted, she can mount herself and uh, right click one of us and they will just uh, use their full combo and they will win the trade for sure. So yeah, I wanted to ward the lane here. I need to be really really careful with my movement. I need to check the position of the Kaisa and the position of the Rel always. If Kaisa is not able to do damage, then I can just trade with Rel. If Kaisa is able to do damage and follow the Rel, then I cannot trade. So my movement should be that I can be in danger zone from Rel when Kaisa is not able to attack me. That's how you should play the Lulu. Now you can see I saw that Kaisa is last hitting the minion, so I went a bit forward. 
So Aurel used her spells, and I, I just used my E on myself, and the trait is pretty much even. We even won it, so it's really good. So if you are playing Enchanter support, it's really important to watch both of the champs against you, uh, so they are not able to, to go on uh, go on you together. If, if, if they cannot burst you, then you will always win the trades. They are still playing the lane, I'm a bit careful. Because every time when Kai'Sa steps up, that means that Rel wants to go in. If I see that Kai'Sa is not able to do damage, I can just step closer. You, you can see it here. He stepped a bit closer, they are going on me. But here is the engage from Rel. Look, I'm not, I'm not really stunned. First auto attack and I'm already out of the CC and I already exhausted the, the Kai'Sa. So we are able to trade here. Rel used to have ignited pretty early and now we are winning the trade again because I went uh, a bit forward to bait the rail in in a, in the right timing. Now she entered because she she thought that uh, we are gonna go in more, and uh, I think we kill her here. And now we can turn on Kaisa as well. Now Diana <laughs> come to lane and gank us. She luckily she missed her Q flash, so I survived here. The weakest part of Lulu is is definitely her laning phase and. Uh, if you make sure that you, you play well the lane, then uh, the champ is just really, really good, in, especially in solo queue. The skill order, definitely, like as I said, we are playing against assassins. I cannot go for aggressive skill order, which is three points in queue and then, uh, then going for E and W. Right now I'm just going for one point into everything, one point uh, into Q to, to just slow. I started with, with E, with shield, then I went for Q. Too slow because if Rel just uh, is mounted and she jumps on us, then I can just slow her and she's really slow and we can win the trade. Usually in like 90% of the time, you are just going to max W and E, like um, there is uh, there is no other option. In this game, I I, I think I preferred to, to max E and then W because uh, they have a lot of assassins and I want to have the biggest shielding power which I can. Yeah, I think this is this is the skill order which you, which you should go right now on Lulu. So we pushed uh, both lane and Kog'Maw and Recall. I just uh, I just moved to mid to because I saw my face recalled as well. I just moved to mid to freeze his lane. It's it's pretty good. Sometimes you can help uh, to your mid to your mid laner like this, so he can he can collect uh, a bit more farm. And then you just need to be need to be always uh, on point to to your AD carry because uh, as I said, the most important is to just uh, get through the early game and then uh, Kogma and Lulu are like. Super OP. So yeah, let's go through the early game. Here, they are going on us, all ins, but uh, we are winning them. Like uh, this is really bad from Rel. Here is a huge wave. If you even if you are playing or uh, not playing Lulu, if you are playing engaged champs, never go into big wave like this. If you don't have jungler even there, like look, she jumped in. This Kaisa actually knows that uh, this Rel is doing a mistake, so she should let her die. There is no way that they can fight. Like Kogma zoned, zoned with his E, the, the Kai'Sa and Rel is instantly dead. Okay, now we we need to crash this wave and then Midiana is ganking us again. Actually, this is one important thing what I want to share with you. When someone is ganking you, you could see I'm not using Polymorph to speed up my ID. I'm using Polymorph to just uh, disengage. Polymorph as Lulu, her W is, is pretty good. You need to be really aware when to use it on your AD and when to use it on the enemies because if for example Diana, Kiana, Kaisa, something like this jumps in it's way better, way way better to use it to polymorph so they cannot do damage than to just increase the, the attack speed to, to your AD because your AD will do damage anyway and uh, if enemies cannot do damage he, he's alive and that's, that's, that's what you need okay so let's here we went uh, for recall what I did here was on one point really good, but on the second really bad. Because here Kogma is recalling, I just take the Kaisa W, so I let my ADC recall. That's that's what you should do as well. If someone is looking to stop your AD, then you should try to tank the damage and let him recall. But here I'm just greedy, I'm really greedy and uh, I should never do this. I should just go under my turret because they, they knew that I'm recalling here and uh, it was a huge mistake by me. Sometimes even the pro players are doing mistakes, guys. Don't worry, we are all humans now. We are going bot and uh, here, guys, don't tilt. Sometimes it happens. 
enemy AD, I mean, or AD carry is overextending when I'm not on the lane. This is not really good by Kog'Maw. And uh, I'm going there to help. And I think I'm gonna die as, as well. Yep, I'm gonna die as well. Has got one kill, but enemies got two kills. This is really not, not a good trade because we were ahead on both lane and we don't want to give them kills to, to just catch up. Now, it's always important when you when you push to just move to, to set up some vision for yourself. Always when you are on the lane, it's really good to first set up the vision before you are going for some play. Like if you are playing whatever champion, you are ahead or you are behind, it's important. The only way if you are ahead, how enemies can go back to the game if if you fuck up or your or enemy jungler will help them. So if you set up the vision, then you know when you can trade and then you can actually snowball the game. Okay, now we are just pressuring enemy bot lane because our mid is winning hard, our jungler is winning hard, so we are able to pressure them pretty hard. And now I'm gonna show you, okay, we are going on the lane, we, we, we pushed sometimes, this is this is kind of classic cheese by enemies, they push and they hide in the in the bush. Now we can see how, how strong actually Lulu is, okay? I have uh, I have uh, my, my ult, my exhaust, look. And I'm not using, that's what I'm say, saying, telling you guys, okay? I'm not using my polymorph to s speed up the Kog'Ma, I'm using it to, to just help to, to reduce the Kai'Sa damage, because she still has ult, and this polymorph actually helps us so much. Kog'Ma started damaging with 15% HP, and we still were able to kill the Kai'Sa. I not, I don't think that we would be able to kill her if I just speed up him. So polymorph, pretty important to use on sometimes on enemy damage champions. At this point of the game, I think uh, when I have uh, when I have my Shuralia, when we have uh, our first items, as you can see, we are only 1k ahead, but overall, I think we are pretty, pretty strong. The thing what we want to do is that I want to play with Kog'Maw definitely on mid lane after we take this turret down and uh, I want to send my fist on side lane. We will always be able to push the mid and uh, for example, rotate to objective or rotate to side lane. And we have Shurelia, so we can chase every target which we see. Kha'Zix is pretty fat, Fizz is pretty fat, and if I buff my Kog'Maw, then there is no way that someone can escape. So that's uh, how I want to play the game, basically, after, after the laning phase. Now, as I said, we want to pressure the mid lane. You always need to watch out the minimap, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you point of view of red. Now we pushed this wave. Uh, we see Kha'Zix is recalling, or Fizz is on bot lane. Gragas is coming out of the base. This is not the right time to attack this turret. We can take it on next wave when Kha'Zix is out of the base. This pushes this and move to mid. Like this is not the right time to attack. We don't see any of the enemy champions on the map. Always try to try to watch the minimap if your teammates are online and uh, what and where are enemies because we have zero vision. I'm even afraid to do some vision like because I don't have anyone who can support me to do the vision here. And as Lulu, I'm kind of vulnerable to just go alone somewhere because I can get one-shotted by Diana or Kiana. So this is not a good play from us. I think here Kog'Maw, if he just runs out, instead of auto-attacking, we would survive this. But still, it's really, really bad play by both of us. We shouldn't stay here. And uh, this was pretty bad. We basically gave to enemies, let's see, two kills, three kills. Oh, actually, we maybe will win the fight here, I'm not sure. Yeah, we won the fight, but it was pretty close and it was bad habit. We gave like opportunity to enemies to come back to the game and this is not good. We are f three around mid and uh, our Kog'Maw is taking Gromp. But uh, here we just missed the shark. As Fizz, he, he, he was looking definitely for engage because he, he's really, really fat. Seven kills on Fizz, that means that he can one shot everyone. We missed the shark, we see three of them, they are going on Fizz. And this is like the difference between before and, and now. Like here we are so fat, but the main key is that we have three people or four people around mid lane, okay? So here we can actually look for the engage. The Fizz was doing correct thing because he saw enemy Kai's on bot lane, he saw enemy Mordekai's on top lane. Here, if you have an engage champ, for example, Alistar, Nautilus or someone, you see that you have four people basically around mid and enemies have two on side lanes. Just go for engage. This Fizz did the right thing, he missed the shark, enemies 
still overcome it for the fight and they they are they lost it because we are just so fat but uh, if if we land the engage then this is completely free fight for us my kogmao died for some reason he overextended on the turret guys if this happens in solo queue don't tilt everyone is only human just be nice to each other and uh, enjoy the game we are playing it to have fun not to just uh, hate each other okay now basically the game is going to the state where we want to basically scale to to, to four drakes and uh, and then uh, end the game like take baron play for objectives here we will have fight i think around the drake what i just want to say is that uh, we are not really in the good position we should always be grouped with this team comp it's really important to be grouped because i want to be with kogmao i want to be with kasix i want to be with my fist i want to be with a lot of players and if we are not grouped it's it's bad so try to always ping assist pings to just group and type it to the chat if, if you can because lulu is the best champ if you are grouped especially when you have shuralia you can speed up your teammates and then you have a way way better engage the, the drake is luckily still up but uh, we could have lost the fight if the game is a bit uh, a bit closer but uh, luckily my mid laner and jungler are pretty pretty fat so now we are starting the drake we want to do round number two we are in actually better position we are grouped that's pretty good and uh, yeah what i tried to do here is we are zoning basically this is the this is the enemy enter point where they want to enter here we have here pink ward this pink ward is pretty good now we are just playing the playing the fight as we should diana engaged on me used everything on me it's it's pretty good he insta died like he should always look for carries so now we are in, in in really good spot we were grouped we won the fight like the fight before we we didn't won we we were forced to just go base and not take the objective now we took the drake and we, we won the fight i think if you are starting the really important objective as nashor just make sure that you know which cooldowns enemies have and uh, as well make sure that uh, or try to at least ping that everyone is on the objective especially when as i said when you play lulu it's it's really important okay now we are getting engaged enemies almost killed us we are starting the Nashor again. It was pretty close. If we died there, maybe the game is different. We are really ahead and uh, luckily like it was good for us. But uh, if the game is a bit even, we, we would be dead for sure. We we are just trying to trying to end the game as fast as we can because we are really, really fat. We got, we got the Nash, we got some turrets with the Baron. Yeah, so here are some fights. This was pretty, pretty greedy by us, but uh, we are still winning it. Let's see, let's see it in the in a bit of the slow motion why it was greedy. Here we are desperately looking for engage and I don't think it's good. We, we should just play it uh, slow. As you can see, my AD is as well desperately looking for engage. I went to shield him. We got Rel combo as two. This is not good into Kiana ulti. As, and uh, yeah, we are just we are just so fat. So we are winning this but uh, this is not how how we should play the game but every player if, if he is a bit fed in solo queue is trying to go for for a montage play and trying to shine but uh, i don't think guys that you should do it like just play according to your win conditions so you will get your lps okay this is like the game is, is about to end soon uh, as you can see like the last drake's the drake's pound we are going for the drake it's really imp if it's dragon so it's really good guys to just pumping it so every from your teammate will move on it every soul is really really good and really important in the game so make sure that you are always ready before the dragon spawns in in river how we actually played the soul is that uh, i started it with kogmao i see kazix and uh, gragas are zoning that's the way how we can play it as well if they see kazix that he's zoning they think that uh, we don't start it but actually kogmao is able to solo they are going on gragas uh, i ult him because kogmao is pretty much untouched so i can use my cooldowns actually on gragas Kai 17 shield look at the shield power from lulu it's actually insane she dealt zero damage now here diana used spells i polymorphed her instead of at moving on attack speed so she cannot escape if she's not polymorphed there is maybe a chance that she can escape yeah here i think we are going to bot and uh, we are going to end the game yes Okay, so I think bad matchups again, like for Lulu are actually poke lanes, like if you are playing against, let's say, Ash and Karma, uh, Varus and Karma, 
and uh, that's that's the first part or and uh, the second part are engaged champions against you with all in adc like uh, we saw in the game like kaisa with rel kaisa with nautilus draven with trash blitzcrank is not bad against lulu as well because his ult is reducing the the shield power it, if you use ult the shields are gone as blitzcrank so lulu is not good against champs which can all in her or which can poke her she's good against champs which cannot all in her so for example braum for example bart jana even i think lulu is kind of like unique champ you need to play her well in the laning phase and then she's really really good lulu weakness actually is her laning phase so she don't i don't think that she have a lot of good matchups for example into trash she's she's kind of good if you if you evade the hook then you always always win the fights but uh, it's Lulu have a lot of matchups which are skill matchups. Like I think in in low elo Lulu can be good against Bart, but in in really high elo I would never pick Lulu into Bart because usually you pick Lulu with champion which um, is immobile, and uh, Bart benefits with this because he can ult the champ and then enemy teams can look for all in. So it's Lulu. I think the champ is not as good in laning phase, but if you play her well, then she's she's really 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 good in solo queue overall if if i'm actually looking to play enchanted support i'm gonna play lulu nine out of ten times because i know if i survive the laning phase then i'm gonna win the game most likely guys the most important focus on the laning phase the laning phase is the key part of the game if you get out from the laning phase and you are even or you are a bit ahead then the game is just pretty easy yeah as you could see like if we are ahead in laning phase then there is no way that uh, that you can lose with lul just watch out your position good laning phase and play with your team and you will always win thank you guys for watching the guide support me support excel esports and uh, see you next time bye bye